Hey everybody, welcome back to the Advent Study. Thank you for being here with me. It means so much to me to have you on this journey along with me together as we unwrap our Savior together this holiday season. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being with us. We give you honor and praise and glory and we want to be enlightened and inspired today. So teach us things as we just, oh, just enjoy your scriptures today, together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We have our Advent candles out. We have hope. We have faith. We have joy. And now we have peace. Glory to God. So let's jump right into our verse, verses that we have for today's study. And that is, we're talking about the angels because um, the shepherds are out and the angels come and the peace that that is supposed to give us knowing that there is angelic hosts around us all the time, overseeing us, protecting us, guiding us, directing us, and bringing us messages from heaven, bringing us messages of good news. So let's read together. In Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 8, and I'm going to read through 10, and first in the NIV, and then we're going to camp in the Amplified, okay? And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. And now let's look at it again in the Amplified. And in the, that vicinity, there were shepherds living out under the open sky in the field, watching in shifts over their flock by night. This just has really spoken loudly to me because we find out when we read in the Amplified that these shepherds lived out under the open sky. This is where they made their abode, at least temporarily. Their abode is outside. They were living outside. The sky was their ceiling. So I want you to get this picture of just kicking back on your sofa and um, watching your children play or whatever you would be doing in your home and all of a sudden, appears angels in your ceiling so this is this has really been just ministering to me that not only were the shepherds going about their uh, daily walk or as we've talked about that daily grind here they are in their home in the home of the ordinary god wants to do the extraordinary just think about that he used not only the shepherds, but in their home. He showed up with the angels. By sending the angels, he shows up to do the extraordinary through ordinary shepherds. God wants to do that with you and me. So let's continue here. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them. So it's not enough to just have your ceiling covered with angels, but now there's one standing by them, right by them. And the angel says to them, um, oh, it's a, I'm sorry, and there's an angel that stood by them, and the glory of the Lord flashed and shone all about them, and they were terribly frightened. Could you imagine? You're just sitting at night in your home, and all of a sudden there's a host of heavenly angels in your uh, up, up up by your ceiling and there's one standing by me by you and then the glory of God becomes to flash I think of like a like lightning and shine all around do you think that might take you by shock it would take me by shock and remember and this is just the ordinary folks this is people like you and me and the angel in verse 10 the angel said to them do not be afraid. And that's been the theme of our Advent study, hasn't it been? We are to not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people.
people. Mm. God wants to bring good news to all the people through you. Through ordinary people, he wants to do and bring extraordinary. That just blesses me. And so many times, he can move in such a powerful way in an ordinary moment. I mean, there's no ordinary moments with God, but in what would seem to be an ordinary moment can become something so extraordinary. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? I just love that so much. But now getting back over to this part about angels. Angels are present in our lives. And in this scripture verse, I'm camping on the fact that they're there to bring us messages uh, that will be a blessing, not just to us, probably uh, shock us, <laughs> but a blessing to us that it may become a blessing of good news to, to those around us, to all around us. So I think we should spend a little time in our lives asking God to help us to make sure that we recognize when angelic hosts are with us and that we're sensitive to what that message may be but also be prepared for the glory of God to flash and to shine around you. Hallelujah. Do you realize that God wants to do extraordinary through you? That he wants to minister to all people in your life through you? And even if there was never a flash, even if there was never an angelic manifestation in your life, we already have great news for all people. Somebody's looking at your life and is seeing how God has changed you. And that is heaven invading the earth right there. But the angels, the angels are here. And they are doing the bidding of the Most High in your life. In my life, listen to this. The radiance of the angels must have been must have been blinding to the shepherds. And in that moment, what did they do? They became afraid. You know, when the supernatural manifests in front of us, we can draw back from it, not be sure how to react to it. And yet that supernatural really is our natural because look at what the angels say. Hey, don't be afraid of us. I'm going to put in my vernacular. We're here all the time. Just listen to the message we have. We have things to say and it's all going to be okay. Isn't that good? The message of the angels gives peace to the shepherds. And then that peace turns into that hope and that joy and they, they go, they trust that message from the angels and they embark on that road of Bethlehem for themselves to their destiny. And then be able to, and then begin to go and share this good news everywhere they go with just inertia and passion. Do you have a time when you remember things kind of startled you um, or you were frustrated, you were concerned? And then all of a sudden, this peace just settled upon you. I have stories like that that I could share. Part of the angel's job is to help bring peace to us. But we have to choose to not be afraid. And to trust our good shepherd. And to trust that holy presence of God and his, and his help from the angelic host. Isn't that good? So I'm here to encourage you today. Encourage myself. There is a host of heaven around you right now. And their job is to transport you to the next place. To bring you and direct you and, and to help you in your future. And God wants you to have peace. 
and the angel's job is to help get you there regardless of circumstance or crisis or situation or hardship or they're here to help you accomplish your purpose and to help you dodge things and help you get through and finish your race regardless of what you're facing. And that should bring us peace. Verse 13, let's look at it again. Then suddenly there appeared with the angel an army. I don't know. I didn't read this to you this time. We read it another time, but let's read it afresh. Then suddenly, not gradually, suddenly there appeared an angel with the angel, an army of the troops of heaven. And I love what the Amplified says here, a heavenly knighthood. Guys, they didn't just appear. They were there. They were already there. It's just that they're, they were allowed to be seen. They manifested in the physical realm that physical eyes could see them. But understand, they're here now. They're here. You might not see them. Maybe you can. I've stood at platforms and been teaching and I've had people come to me and say, there were angels standing around the platform. There was one standing behind you. I've had that happen. I can remember one time being in a car accident and seeing an angel in a flash of a second. And it gave me peace. Like, okay, sort of, sort of, it startled me. But then it gave me peace. They're here. Can you imagine that manifesting in front of the shepherds, what that must have been like for them? Praising a heavenly host. And the Amplified puts it, an army of the troops of heaven. So this wasn't like two or three or four or five. This was hundreds, maybe thousands. A heavenly knighthood. Beautiful. A knight. You do have knights in shining armor. Jesus and those he knights. The knighthood. Glory to God. And then what did they do? Of course, they began to praise God for what God had done. Do you know those angels are praising God for what he's done and doing in your life and how he's going to use you to help a friend, to help a stranger, to help somebody else? Glory to God. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for being with us today. And you do, Lord, use us, ordinary people, to do extraordinary things. Help us to be sensitive, Holy Spirit, to your moving and to your knighthood that you have here with us, bringing us messages that will be help to all. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being here today. You're a blessing to my life. Keep watching the videos. Subscribe. Let me know if they're being a blessing to you. Happy Advent season and Merry Christmas. God bless you.